Hi everyone, Stock Mo here. Today's video is for entertainment purposes only, and I'm coming on location. I'm actually out on the road. I got some meetings I'm taking care of, and this is it. This is the background. No 1972 brick wall or anything, but at this time, we are going to take a look at the NEO earnings. I know everybody was looking forward to this, but unfortunately, I didn't have opportunity to make a video to update that, but we're gonna take a look at that. And of course, Disney just reported their earnings. They can thank me personally. I took the kids down there for a vacation and they spent a lot of money so of course they were going to crush their earnings we'll take a little look at that as well and just see where everything is going with neo in the neo stock price prediction and it's going to be something interesting so stick around i think you're going to like what i got for you So if you're new to the channel, all over ass, hit the subscribe button, annihilate that like button for me, and hit that bell for notifications, and hit all. Of course, I do have the links down below this video. This is gonna help a lot of people out. Big IPO coming out. I think it's gonna be first quarter of 2022, and this is gonna be with TikTok. And, if you, and it's owned by ByteDance, and they're only gonna be doing their IPO out of Hong Kong. So you have to have access to the Hong Kong exchanges. So I always looked at TikTok as a big winner long-term. I think this is gonna grow into a monster of a company, and I'm going to be buying into that IPO once it comes out. But to do that, you need a place to do it. And so I have the link to Moomoo down below. And this is one of the best apps you're gonna be able to get. It gives you up to four free stocks worth up to $3,350 to start. And then on top of that, as you scroll down here here are some of the bait uh, the great things you get they're owned by Futu and you get seamless access to the Hong Kong stocks IPO access of course zero commission in the states everything you want plus that Hong Kong access which is going to be huge once we get up to that bite dance IPO which they own TikTok. So I'm looking forward to that, trying to figure out the TikTok price prediction and seeing where that's going to go, all that good stuff. And I'm excited. So we'll, we'll find out. But you can see some of the things here as well. And of course, if you haven't done it, come over, hit the other link down there for BlockFi. You can get a BlockFi credit card right now. And I got mine. I started using it on this trip here. And of course, you get up to 250 in free Bitcoin if you're depositing uh, and you get interest on your crypto. So I like that. And then come over and join us at the Patreon. Good stuff over there thousands of members uh private discord we have my portfolios and what i'm buying and selling so the big thing today first is take a look at the market green across the board with the exception of the russell well the russell has a lot of them high growth stocks so there was a little bit of pain there in the portfolio you can see neo after crushing the numbers they're red what's going on with that and we're going to discuss this a little bit my take on this okay was that you know they announced a very aggressive expansion and they're going to be moving into some uh different vehicles if you will as well as some different markets that they're not you know to me they're mid to high tier now they're going for a different tier there so that's going to be a, a big run up in production so there's going to be some costs there so i think you see a little selling off because I think some people are just, you know, a little nervous about it. But we'll take a look at all the numbers. Uh, DraftKings continues to blow up. They had the NFTs roll out yesterday. For anybody who wasn't watching that, you could. They had the Tom Brady NFTs on their marketplace are rolling out, and it went like hotcakes. Everybody wanted them. Tens of thousands of people lining up, and it was interesting to watch. And this was a wild success, and they're continuing to do it, which is good for the NFT market. Thus, a theory thus DraftKings, it's they're going to be able to create something that is going to be revolutionary and it, and you're already watching it in slow motion here so the stock did pop on that but for those who have golden nugget online gaming that helped you out as well uh, Walt Disney I didn't want to take a quick look you can see like I said my family went on vacation that is why it's probably up 5% and we had to pay a lot of things but in all seriousness the parks are getting back to full I told you when I did a video down there that these parks are packed I couldn't get a restaurant anywhere don't be surprised when they reported their earnings that it was going to outperform. They did. And so it's something to be said for actually getting down to the places you're buying and actually putting your eyes on it. You start to see how it's starting to ramp up. So, and of course, their Disney Plus is taking off. They think that's going to continue to grow. There's a lot of good things about Disney. So the Disney stock price prediction, somebody said, hey, where do you see this going? I said, give it two to three years. This thing will be over $300 a share. So I am looking into some leap options. I think in two years, personally, this thing will be up uh, at least at 280 
And so we'll say 24 months from now. So I'm gonna take a look at some leap options, see what's out there and see if there's some value in for me getting it because I feel like they're going to be able to do that, especially with everything ramping back up there. Like I said, you couldn't get into a restaurant down there. It was crazy. So that's one of the things I'm looking at. And then let's look at Neo. Neo is the thing. Look, it starts out, it's green. Everybody's happy. Killed the numbers. Then boom, we are, we are struggling in the red down three, four percent. And doesn't make sense because they did great in the numbers. And it's true. And you can see we got down here and we keep bouncing around them low 40s. But I was excited about the news that they're continuing to expand. And keep in mind that in next year, we are looking hopefully at seeing that ramp up with JAC up to 240,000 vehicles produced. They are only producing what, roughly 8,000 a month right now? Jump that number up to 20,000 to get up to 240,000 a year. And so they're, you know, they're excited about 8,000. Wait, this is going to go quick over the next year or two when they start getting up to full production up to 240,000. These numbers are going to get better. Now the profit margin uh, dropped a little bit. That's increased comp competition out there. So I'm watching for all of this, but I am excited about Neo moving forward. I have no problem with holding through this volatility. It's almost like every earnings that come out, somebody, you know, it sells off a little bit. It's one of them sell the news and it's not like the news is bad. If we take a look at the earnings for Neo, and I have them right here, here's what they reported, Q2. Uh, they beat earnings per share by 62%. I mean, they're they're absolutely knocking this out of the ballpark. They're doing fantastic. Uh, revenue, they beat by 0.85%. Uh, very good. Like I said, the earnings per share expected negative 55 cents, and then they ended up with 0.21, negative 0.21, a 62% surprise. So everything's going well. Here's the revenue surprise here, 8.38, 8.45 is what they reported. So let's make the stock drop. I know it's confusing, but to me, and a lot of people said, why is it dropping? I still think it's because of that aggressive expansion that they're gonna be rolling out. So you can see it right here. China's Neo aims to take on Volkswagen, Toyota with new brands. So they're creating a new brand and they're gonna be out there competing in that market. And I think it's gonna do very well. It's gonna help those numbers. We're seeing a lot of good things with Neo. Uh, here are a few things from the analysts out there. I went out and found some analysts. Bank of America, more bullish take on the quarter, raising his 2022 delivery estimates by 5% for Neo after earnings. Neo is planning to launch three new products in 2022 and they have a $62 price target. So we had some updates here, Mizuho. They had, what do we got here? Outlook, noted management's plans to expand annual capacity to 240,000 units. Remember, we're only making eight now. So imagine getting up to the point that we're making 20,000 units a month. And that's more in a doubling of, yep, that's what we just said. Neo is making about 8,000 a month and they have a $65 price target. Goldman Sachs, love Goldman Sachs. You can in line with expectations and driver assistance. It says noted that more customers are paying for the Neo's driver assistance features. This was big. The adoption rate was 80% in the second quarter, up from 45% to 50% in the first quarter. That is a positive for the stock still. The, he raised the shares a hold in a $56 price target. So you're seeing some things going, going on with this one. And I'm excited about Neo moving forward. So I have no complaints. I got my Neo leap options out there. I'll be sitting back riding this one and we'll see. At the end of the day, I'm a long-term investor in Neo and I think it's gonna outperform the market. And a lot of people are gonna be surprised. So. I don't know if you're going along with the, the journey on this one, but don't worry about it. I think we're gonna be okay with this. So last thing I wanted to talk about real quick, take a look at DraftKings. We did talk about that rising up. A lot of people didn't know why. That NFT thing could be a monster moneymaker for DraftKings moving forward. I think they, you know, they're being very uh, innovative and I'm liking what I'm seeing here. But on top of that, now that's why gold, uh, Golden Nugget Online Gaming would go up too because obviously it's tied to DraftKings now, the correlation. On top of that though, take a look at this thing, Rush Street. Now we're seeing a lot of craziness in the aftermarket today, but somebody said to me, hey, what's going on with uh, Rush Street? That it's jumping as much as it is, what's going on? I loaded up on this yesterday. I bought a double position. I don't usually do this. But I did buy a double, actually, eh, it's almost more than a double position. I put a lot of money into Rush Street yesterday uh, early because I did feel, based on the valuations that Golden Nugget Online Gaming got, 
that we were going to see Rush Street get up there close to that $20 range sometime, either be acquisition or something, but it might not get quite up to there, but I did think it would be in the high teens. And they put the valuation of uh, Golden Nugget Online Gaming when it got bought out by DraftKings as a 7.5 times 2022 revenue. And this is trading at around half that. So it's a little over half, but as it gets up there closer and closer, now it's moving up off those numbers back when it was down here. So it's now a little over half of that number. So to get up to that full thing, it should be trading around $21. And it's only trading about 14 right now. Now that is what they bought them out at. So this isn't getting bought out. There is no acquisitions that I know of. I'm just saying, as we have more acquisitions and mergers in the gambling industry, this one is priced perfect at 2.92 billion. We know that Gold Nugget Online Gaming was priced at around 1 billion, so this is about three times bigger. They just picked up some other good things working in Connecticut. Here it is, Rustry Interactive enters into sports betting partnership with the Connecticut Lottery Commission. So there's, on their own, they're gonna do okay. I thought this price, uh, has been way down. Take a look at this. We were trading about 10, 11 a year ago, and it was all the way back down to nine. So it was at year lows. You're seeing acquisitions and mergers in the, in the gambling industry. So for me, this was one I'm gonna take a flyer on, take a little bit of a risk, but it's not that much because they continue to advance and grow on their own. But if a, a company out there is looking to get into that iGaming and all that good stuff, this is it. This is a nice way to add into that. So that's what you got right now. That's why I loaded up on RSI. I like what I'm seeing there. Uh, I think the risk is very limited at this point for me because we got in a, before this little pop here. So it's some good stuff going on. And DraftKings, I think that one, like I said, $80 by the end of this year. Hopefully we'll have that run. The NFTs continue to roll out there and they'll get more and more exposure. The gambling will pick up with the fall sports and some of these stocks will do well. Disney, I absolutely love long-term, give you some other stocks that I'm looking at. And of course, Neo, I have no complaints. Neo is going to the moon. I'm gonna be sitting back, riding all the way up there with it. Now, if you haven't done it, like I said, with the whole TikTok coming out down, I'm already looking six, to nine months into the future here. You wanna get yourself set up. Moomoo is where you can do this at. They will have, uh, like I said, you can get up to four free stocks worth up to $3,350. They're going to be able to get that access to the IPOs. And they got over in Hong Kong, I am, I'm, I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to get the IPOs through uh, Moomoo since they are the largest over in China. So I'm hoping that should get me some access. So you don't wanna wait to fund it though. So you wanna deposit at least $100 or more. Take advantage of that, get your money in there so you know everything's set up for when the big things come out like TikTok with ByteDance, I should say, ByteDance owns them, uh, that you can take advantage of that. So take a, a, a look at the links down below. Of course, get your BlockFi credit card, check out the uh, deposit bonus of 250 for deposit, and you got up to 250 in free Bitcoin, so that's good. And come over and join us at the Patreon, thousands of members at the private Discord. And I'm over there shooting the breeze as well, so it's a good thing. So that's all I got for you today. Let's get out there and make some money.